Hey, one more time, it's TR. I wanted to show you how we set our deck height. Now, this is something that I think is very important and it's something that is very overlooked quite often. So a lot of guys will call us and say, hey, you know, my cranking pressure may be down five or 10 pounds from what, you know, we recommended. And, and that a lot of that comes to do with deck height being set properly and everything like that. So how we do it here, I just wanted to kind of go over it. This gauge has been set at zero. Now this is a Milwaukee 8 that we're doing on 139 kit on. It has our pistons and everything in it. We put, I use old head bolts and these are just old wrist pins as are they are. And I put them over the cylinders and I would torque them with the gasket at 25 foot pound. That way you've collapsed the gasket and got any type of variation out of that, okay? And just so you'll know, those gaskets can be reused. You know, once you've torqued them to 25, you know, we torque everything to 55 on these head bolts. So you're collapsing the gasket, but that gasket can be reused. With the gauge set at zero, then what we do is we will come over here. And as you can see, now I've set this all up and, and everything like that. But if you look at this right here, that thing is basically one thousandths in the hole, okay? So that's what you're looking for on, as far as your deck height. So just keep in mind that's very important because especially on these big bores, five thousandths extra deck height can be almost a half a point of compression. As the bore gets bigger, that deck height gets more important because you're, you're using up more volume area. So keep that in mind when you're doing your engines and doing your assemblies. Thank you very much.